quite an interesting pair. You look at the weekly chart. If you look at the, the weekly chart, this very much looks like the pound dollar, and this is when, it, as I said, this is where we are with the pound dollar and the pound yen. Once we broke that, we just had this capitulation to the downside. There is nothing but air underneath it. And this is the only. So we are now at 122.06, 122 yen. So at least we have another 300 pips to the downside. And if it takes below the 119.65, the next move down is going to be the 113. Uh, The 113. Okay, so just to let you know, I got three requests from Femi and uh, Louise and Les that they want the chart. So if you want it, guys, let me know so I can make it one email and send it out. All right. Uh, okay, so this was our break from 129. This was our structure point when the first one was the 131.50 and then the 131 right there. So once we broke that, we had three momentum weeks to the downside. So the trade, the actual long-term trade is being short from 131. And now it is trading at 122.06. So we had about 800 pip move on the uh, euro yen, which is in three weeks, which is fantastic. So, and we, as we see right now, there is no, uh, everything underneath that is air. There is nothing but air underneath it. Uh, looking at the daily chart, it's the same setup. The The only thing I have about this, I still want to be short in the long term. I still want to take it. Uh, uh, okay, I got yours for the shade. Uh, is that we closed at 122.65, and yesterday was 121.55. So we closed about 50 pips above the prior low. So that's okay. So now I know that my selling point is going to be 55 So that is going to be our shorting point. We're going to go short below 53. So that was the big major move that we had. We came back and we traded above prior days low which is right there so this is where the the trade was covered the short was covered and at this moment in time all what we have now is a possible minor uh, profit taking or a short covering rally which is not by any means a trend change 
So if we are going to be a buyers, we're going to buy above 123.33 or 30, whatever. And we are going to, I want to see where I can place a stop here. Fortunately, if we are going to buy above the 123.33, our stop has to be below 121. So you, you, you're using about 130, 150 pips stop on that position. This is too big. We are going to go short Yes, absolutely Yes, yes So we are going to go short below uh, 121.58.57 so we are going to go short below 121.53 and the long point is One twenty three fifty three. Okay, the, the structure long to the upside is still one twenty nine sixty nine ninety six. And my structure short to the downside, let's see what it is. Is the one nineteen sixty seven? Does anybody remember the long stop and the short stop before, but instead of me shutting it down and pulling it up again? Anybody? Alright. So the stop is going to be below 121.55.